guys are great, man. You guys are uh, so good to be here tonight. It's good to be out of jail. <laughs> Don't judge me. I'm the head of the prison ministry at my church. <laughs> oh, man, I guess by now you guys know I'm not from around here. <laughs> I was outside. People were asking me to park their cars and stuff. I was like, the keys to a Porsche. Look at this. <laughs> I'm coming up. Man, it's good to be here, it really is. I wanna thank uh, Dry Bar for bringing me in. I wanna thank them for putting us up so nicely at the Marriott, where I have a lovely view of the dumpster. Thank you very much. <laughs> they spared no expense on bringing us in this weekend from Atlanta. Got me staying in the handicapped man room. Thank you, good looking out. <laughs> you ever been in that room? <laughs> at the wide open door, toilet on the floor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mirror comes up to here, you gotta come down here to tie your tie, you know what I'm saying? Good looking out. <laughs> yep. Want to shout out to my wife. My lovely wife, Sherry, couldn't be with me. Uh, she's a very spiritual woman. Likes to put these spiritual messages on my Facebook page whenever I leave home. Like, there's no temptation known to man that God has not given you a manner of escape. <laughs> Resist the devil. He will flee from you. I'm like, so, I'm like Sherry, who are these messages for? Me or your friends? <laughs> He who has an ear, let him hear. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And I knew the social media was going to change for me once I got married. I knew it. I knew as soon as my wife made all of my Facebook friends her Facebook friends, oh, I knew right then. I knew it was going to change. <laughs> my wife is, she's, she's covert, all right? She's gangster when it comes to stuff like that, you know what I mean? She believes in that old adage, keep your friends close and your enemies closer, you know what I mean? <laughs> But you know, really nobody was trying to get at me. I mean, there were no women really trying to hit on me, except for a couple of the big girls, you know. <laughs> I know they were big girls because they all had cute faces and they cropped a the picture up to here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hey, let it all hang out. We don't know what we're dealing with. So, uh, man, we had to work out, man, working out. Man, you guys in the gym? Anybody in the gym? <laughs> all right. Two people, two people, very good. Are healthy here. That's what I like. No, I had to go work out because you know my body was going all the pieces: piece of cheesecake, piece of apple pie, piece of meatloaf. You know, so I had to join that 24-hour uh, fitness. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't know you had to be there for 24 hours before you start seeing results, though. I didn't know that. I don't care how much you work out. At the end of the day, you still look like the before picture, don't you? Man. Yeah. Yeah, what are proud parents at? Proud parents in the house tonight? You got some proud parents? Wow. You ain't gotta be proud, you can just be a parent. You don't have to be proud. <laughs> I'm a proud parent. I have a 25 year old son. He is suffering from allergies. He's allergic to looking for a job. <laughs> We're gonna pray that no job demon away right now. <laughs> How many of y'all know he'll be working by next month? Uh, Looking for a new place to live, one or the other. <laughs> the man don't work, don't eat. eat. One person knew that. Okay, very good. <laughs> My Bible scholar right up front there. Very good. All right, folks, we're going to get right into it. You guys ready to have some fun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you came here for. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't work alone. I don't work alone. I've got some friends with me. And, uh, well, basically, everybody has a favorite uncle. And um, I want you guys to meet mine. So please, if you would, put your hands together right now. Start clapping and give it up for Uncle Rufus. Uncle Rufus, come on, big hand. People are nice people. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Puffets too. <laughs> Uncle Rufus, who are you doing in the suitcase? I'm waiting to exhale. <laughs> you know I got asthma. <sighs> you don't care about me. I do care about you. Just sit up here, it's okay. You know where we are? 
Do I look like MapQuest to you? <laughs> Every time I get out the suitcase, we in a different city. Uncle Rufus, we gotta travel, huh? People pay good money to see us. Oh, they pay good money to see us. That's right. Well, how come I can't see none of that good money? <laughs> I know what it is. You know what it is. Yeah, I come from the old school. The old school. Yeah, that's the school they had before they built the new school. <laughs> Some of these promoters, they want to make money off of you. Yeah, but they don't want to offer you no money. <laughs> well, you must be living on a fixed income. No, I'm dying on a broke one. <laughs> Well, you better pay your bills on time. Well, they might not get paid when they do, but they do when they get paid. <laughs> so, I just, you know, I just want to tell y'all. Uh-huh. I'm glad y'all paying attention. <laughs> I just want to tell y'all. Mm-hmm. I forgot what I was going to tell y'all. <laughs> That happens sometimes. Yeah. yeah well, uh, how many of y'all uh, uh, go to church in here? Y'all, y'all, y'all. Okay. Uh, well, Christians ain't perfect. That's what I want to say. But Christians ain't perfect. Uh huh. We just forgiven. All right. I like that. That's profound. Yeah, yeah. Christians ain't perfect. Yeah. We just forgiven. Mm hmm. Well, what would make you say that? Well, I. I was in Las Vegas uh, about a couple of weeks ago, uh -huh. and I seen some, some Christians at the casino. Well, how do you know? I saw the church bus parked out front. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were you doing there? I went in there to get them folks up out of there. <laughs> Messed around and got caught up on the slot machine myself. See, that's what sin will do to you, see? Uh -huh. It wrapped his ugly arms around. Yeah. He engulf you. Uh -huh. Bring it out. <laughs> he bring it out. Won't he do it? I'm so glad that we got faith. Faith. Yeah. If we got faith. If you got faith, uh huh, the size of a, a jar of mustard. <laughs> Well, I got to get out of here. I had a good time with y'all. And uh, I got to get to the Senior Citizen Center. Uh huh. The women is fitting to chase me in the wheelchairs. <laughs> and I'm going to let them catch me. <laughs> we having Bible study tonight, and I'm the lesson leader. We in the book of Psalms. <laughs> That's between Genesis and Revolutions. <laughs> Study to show yourself to prove. <laughs> Work that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. My name is Uncle Rufus. Y'all give it up for Uncle Rufus. Right here. Keep it going, keep it going for Uncle Rufus. Keep it going for Uncle Rufus. Yeah. 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 He's really, he's really, he's really uh, my father. That's he's really my father. That's who he is. He's my, he's my dad. The character got to come from somewhere. You know what I mean? I mean? My dad was just totally impossible, you know, at the end. He was just totally impossible. But yeah, we, we're all praying. Just say a prayer for Uncle Rufus tonight, if you would. A silent prayer, please. <laughs> It mean a lot coming from Provo, I'm telling you. Please. <laughs> believe me, believe me, believe me. You too, the Bible scholar up front. Make sure you just take one knee if you could. I'm... God bless you, brother. God bless you. All right, folks, we're going to keep the show rolling right along. You having fun? So look, I'm going to bring out the guy who's been working with me the longest. He's been all over the road, all over the world. We travel. He's been on a lot of TV shows, BET, Showtime at the Apollo, America's Most Wanted, Cops, <laughs> Government Beatdown. Housewives of he does all the shows, he don't care. Put your hands together right now and give it up for Woody. Big hand for Woody, come on. Hey, hey, that's funky. <laughs> I like that.
dance song. I would dance, but my legs are messed up. <laughs> had an accident. Doctor gave me six months to live. I ain't had no money, so he gave me six more months. <laughs> They'll work with you nowadays, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't laugh, I can't talk. <laughs> Don't talk while I'm laughing. You ain't that good. <laughs> Man, y'all give it up for my grandmama. She's uh, 80 years old. All right. Yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. And yeah, she walks a mile per day. What? Yeah, she just walking a mile a day for the last 30 days. Mm hmm And now, yeah, we don't know where she is. <laughs> if y'all see my grandmama out here in Provo, <laughs> call us, cause we hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Man, this is all right. I've had the ball with these people. I wish I could stay out here. I'm trying to tell you. I really want to get out that suitcase a lot more often. You know what I'm saying? Anybody here that lived in a suitcase before? <laughs> Never lived out of a suitcase. Okay, all right. Well, the questions get harder from here, okay? <laughs> Yeah. We got to get outside of the four walls of the church. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I like to go to church with my white brothers and sisters. Because mm. y'all don't stay in church that long. <laughs> you got stuff to do. You live your life on the outside of the church. You have a personal relationship with God. You walk into the church talking to God. How are you doing, God? I'm fine. I'm blessed. I don't need anything. God bless yourself. La -de -da -de -la -de -da -de -da -de -da. I'm off to the slope. <laughs> but what about us? Not us. Not us. Not us. Take, uh, we be in church for two or three days at a time, praying for the same stuff we already prayed for. So I like to go to church and I have good white brothers and sisters. They sing the songs, they get in and out. Oh. <laughs> Happy day, oh happy day, oh happy day, oh happy day. It was a happy day. That's it. They home. They happy. <laughs> <laughs> they watching the Utah Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about us? Not us. Not us. Not us. Take us two hours to get to the first lyric. Oh, oh, happy day. Jackson. Why? Why? I'm telling that it's human nature. Why? Why? Does he do me that way? And if it's a life, why? Da 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 da. Why? Why? Does he do me that way? I like living this way. I like living this way. Somebody's calling. Let me see who it is. Hello. 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 How you doing? Hey, what's up? Yeah, Woody. Here. Woody? Yeah. Woody's for you, huh? It's for you. Uh, tell them, tell them I'm not here. Huh? Tell them I'm not here. <laughs> Woody said he's not here. <laughs> Hater. <laughs> but when you talk to him, who is this? I don't know, man. Talk to him. Hello. Yeah, Woody. Yeah. Lend me twenty dollars. 
I can't hear you. You need to try the other ear or something. Well, try the other ear then. Who ain't this? I don't know, man. Talk to him. Yo, what ain't? When they fifty dollars. I know I can't hear you now. You need to go back to the twenty dollar ear. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you guys. Uh, the y'all been out to the uh, the, the Disney. Uh, California Adventure Theme Park. Any of y'all been there? Yeah. Nice. I know what the theme is, but let's break them. <laughs> Look, I went out, I took my niece and nephew, right? It, it, they charged us $3,000 for two days at the amusement park. Mm -hmm. I was not amused. <laughs> They're charging kids like adults. What? Nikki ought to be ashamed of himself. <laughs> and the kids are yelling and screaming, we want Nikki! I was like, me too. <laughs> you know they only have one Mickey in the whole park, you guys know that? Really? Yeah, I'm thinking for $3,000, mm -hmm. they need to issue each family their own personal Mickey at the gate. <laughs> You pay your money, here's your Nicky. <laughs> your kids need something to eat, let Nicky get it. <laughs> your kids gotta go to the bathroom, let Nicky take them. <laughs> you left something in the car, let Nicky get it. <laughs> Nicky earned his key. <laughs> oh man. I was waiting for Nicky, the kids couldn't see him. I said, you, you gonna see Nicky this weekend. We waited at his house. I had a block of government cheese. I said, he'll be here. <laughs> I was stalking Nikki. <laughs> man, this is a beautiful city here. We wish we could stay here longer, man. You guys, have, you got a beautiful city. Yeah, man, a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why. I do, but too many old folk don't know where they're going. <laughs> Out there messing up traffic with us young folks. We got stuff to do. They're out there doing 10 miles per hour in a 25 miles per hour zone, stopping on green, going on red, <laughs> giving a left turn signal, turning right, <laughs> bagging up off the exits. <laughs> I see some of y'all. You know who y'all. <laughs> How you doing, sir? You having a good time? You want to take me home with you? <laughs> No, you could. Oh, great, man. I, I appreciate that. Good. God bless you. Can I borrow $10 to the <laughs> I'm just kidding. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. My name is Willie Brown. This is Woody. We love you guys. Hope to see you again. And on behalf of Woody and Uncle Rufus, God bless you all. All right? Thank you so much. I'm Willie Brown. And I'm Woody. And we just finished doing Dry Bar Comedy. Yeah, man, it was great. And if you like the show, you need to leave us a tip. A tip. Yeah, you know, when you get good service, you leave a tip. Plus, I got to get back to Atlanta. We on the Greyhound bus. Hey, we need some money. Yeah, we need some money. Leave us a tip. <laughs>